Hi you action figure enthusiasts out there, JC here with another T&I toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends 6 inch Avengers Endgame movie 2 pack featuring Hawkeye and Black Widow. Now this set from Hasbro is being sold as a Target store exclusive. And this two pack comes packaged in the same style that we see with all the two packs for the Marvel Legend line. You've got the Legend series logo up at the top. The figures are clearly displayed. Down below you've got the names of the characters and the Avengers movie logo. And then on one side you've got artwork for Black Widow. The other side you've got artwork for Hawkeye. And then on the back of the packaging you've got artwork for both characters and a brief bio in multiple languages. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figures outside the packaging along with their other contents. We'll start off taking a look at the weapon accessories in this set, and we've seen all of these weapons released previously. So for these batons for Black Widow, these are the same ones that came with the Infinity War version. You've got the metallic silver and then that dark kind of metallic gray color. You've got the stripes there on the, on the actual baton portion, and then you've got the handles. You've got the grips that are sculpted and everything, and you can put these together and create a larger uh, staff. And you'll notice that mine came out of the packaging pretty uh, bent or warped, so you may need to take a hairdryer or something to straighten that out if you want to. But again, this is the same kind of weapons that we saw with the Infinity War version of Black Widow. For Hawkeye, he comes with his bow. This is the same bow we've seen before with previous Hawkeye figures, including the last movie figure. And it's done with a black plastic, and you can see mine actually came out of the packaging pretty straight. And then the final weapon accessory you get in this set is for Nebula. It's the same blaster that we saw with the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Nebula figure that Hasbro did. It's done with a metallic silver. You've got a lighter silver on the top and darker on the bottom. And you've got a little strip of metallic gold there as well. And this is to use with the Black Widow figure when you've got the alternate Nebula head on the body. And then the final accessories that we get in this set are three alternate heads. Now you've got two male characters. You've got Ant-Man's helmet and Iron Man's helmet and these are to be used with the Hawkeye body and then we've got the alternate nebula head which is to be used with the Black Widow body. Okay now with the Iron Man and the Ant-Man head sculpts these appear to be the same head sculpts that we got previously. This is the same Iron Man head sculpt that we got with the Infinity War Iron Man figure and this is the same Ant-Man head sculpt that we got with the Ant-Man from the Ant-Man and Wasp uh, lineup and you'll notice that there's some minor paint differences like uh, this one um, um, you've got, uh, this is the regular uh, Infinity War version. This is the new one. There's really not much in the way of blue in the eyes and the colors are a little bit lighter. The Ant-Man head, um, I like the paint applications on this new one. You've got uh, black up here and on the sides as opposed to the dark gray. You've got a stronger red color on the eyes and the red stripes are a little bit brighter color. So I actually kind of like the look of this uh, newer Ant-Man helmet. And then finally, the Nebula head sculpt seems to be different from the previous Guardians of the Galaxy version. You can see it is much bigger. This new head sculpt is bigger. You don't have uh, the metallic purple on the front there. It's now more of a flat purple. You've got um, the eyes look a little bit different and then they've added this orange metallic uh, plating on the one side here which I think is in keeping with the movie. I've seen other uh, variations, uh, in-game variations of Nebula like the pop vinyl and such that has this orange so that seems to be something she added for this movie but it is actually a different head sculpt it's not just the same head sculpt repainted um, it's actually bigger and and has a little uh, different detailing on it okay, now for the figures themselves starting with the head sculpts and with the Hawkeye figure so this is based on Hawkeye's updated look and you can see sporting that kind of mohawk look that we saw in the trailer and I think they've done a good job of capturing uh, Jeremy Rayner's uh, likeness with this one uh, this is probably the best movie head sculpt for Hawkeye that we've gotten to date. Paint applications seem to be pretty solid. You've got a little bit lighter color on the shaved portions of his head uh, for his hair and then it's darker up here on the top and again he's kind of sporting that mohawk look. So definitely I think you know this is one of the highlights of this set is this unmasked Hawkeye head. 
Now with the Black Widow head sculpt, this is another new head sculpt that we're getting and you can see Black Widow has much longer hair than we previously saw in Infinity War. She's got the ponytail, uh, she's gone back to the red color and I like the sculpting with the hair and the color in the hair is pretty good. Now I don't know why the tip of her ponytail is a white color. I'm sure that is something from the movie and we'll have to wait and see why that is. But you know, again, that definitely kind of stands out a little bit. And I like the face sculpt. I think it does look like Scarlett Johansson she's got the red uh, eyebrows as well and I think the paint applications on the eyes look good my only complaint with this one is for some reason they kind of overdid it with the blush on her cheeks I, I don't really like that but otherwise I think this is a very solid looking head sculpt for Black Widow okay now going back to the Hawkeye figure I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this one because this body the is the exact same body that we got with the quantum suit Captain America figure and that's kind of the whole idea behind this set where you can take these alternate heads and you can also take other unmasked character heads that Hasbro's previously done and switch them out with these bodies so you can build up the entire team with these quantum suits. I looked at this Captain America figure in a previous video and I will put a link to that where I go over all the different head sculpts that you can switch this one out with. So I'm not going to go over that again with this I one. I will however show you the Iron Man head and the Ant-Man head that came in this set with this figure. You can see and again this is the same Iron Man head sculpt that came with the regular Infinity War version and it fits on there you just pop these off they're ball joints so it's pretty easy and then this is the ant-man head and the, since it is a ball hinge joint that joint will move a little bit on you but again they do pop on pretty easy and you can see you know this is the same ant-man head sculpt that we got with the previous ant-man only with a little bit different paint applications i do however like these new paint applications on this helmet now, if you recently picked up the new Ronin figure from Endgame and you want to go with an unmasked look for the character, this new uh, unmasked head sculpt in the two-pack works perfectly with the Ronin figure. You can also put it on the body of that older Avengers movie Hawkeye figure. It works good with that one as well. Now I've seen some of you notice that this figure does not come with a quiver and arrows for the bow. You know, he comes with a bow but no arrows or anything. And that's probably because this mold does not have a hole in the back and the Hawkeye quivers always just plug into a hole in the back. So that's probably why they didn't include it. And I don't think a quiver is movie accurate. I don't think he has a quiver of arrows when he's wearing the quantum suit. I don't even think he's actually carrying his bow when he has the quantum suit. But if you wanted a, a quiver to go along with uh, the bow in this uh, with this outfit um, kind of an easy workaround is you can take the the sword sheath that comes with the Ronin figure and it just hooks with a strap so you can just put it on this figure and then you can kind of just stick the quiver in there that's what I did with the Ronin figure because I wanted him to have a quiver with arrows and it works pretty much the same with this figure it's not a perfect thing you know it can't if you move the figure around a lot then it might fall out but you know especially if you're just posing it on your shelf and you want him to have a, a quiver of arrows you can do that you could also always drill a hole in the back of the figure and then stick you know this is the quiver that comes with a previous hawkeye figure movie figure so you could always drill a hole in the back and then just plug it in if you really wanted to but like i said i don't think he actually has the quiver and arrow when he's wearing the quantum suit okay now going back to the black widow figure so this at least at this time is the only way you can get the female mold with the quantum suit on which means unfortunately that you would have to buy the two pack multiple times if you want to have multiple uh, female characters wearing these quantum suits. You know, we know Nebula and Black Widow wear these and you do get the Nebula head sculpt in the set, but if you want Black Widow and Nebula at the same time, you are going to have to buy the set twice. Now it is possible, especially if other female characters are wearing these quantum suits in the movie, we might see additional figures released where you, you know, not in a two pack, but like I said, at this time you would have to buy the two pack multiple times. Now for the itself. The sculpting detail in the suit is very similar to what we saw with the male counterpart. You've got that A there on the chest which is sculpted. You've got the ridge work on the black portion sculpted in there. You've got the ridges up there on the top on those shoulder pieces. Now some of you often point out that you know these uh, Hasbro figures are using metallic silver as opposed to white like we see in the trailer and I'm pretty sure that's because they based these on early concept art and then at some point they changed it to white that's one of the downsides of doing movie figures when they have to have them out in time for the movie's release they've got to go oh, by early concept art and not the final product you've got this little thing on our left hand like we saw with the male figures with the blue i think that is something that serves some kind of purpose on the 
the suit. You've got the same kind of sculpting detail in that back piece as well. So like I said, even though it's a female body, the sculpting detail in the figure between this and the male version are very similar. And one thing I also want to note with this female body, she does incorporate double hinged elbows. That's not something we normally see with female Marvel Legend figures. I'm sure it's because she is kind of wearing this uh, bodysuit that they were able to do that. But it is nice to see the double hinged elbows on the female body. Now, I don't know exactly what outfit Black Widow is wearing in the movie when she doesn't have the quantum suit on, but you can put this new head sculpt on the older Black Widow figures, including this Infinity War version. If you've got one of the older ones, like the Age of Ultron or even the, the Winter Soldier version, you should be able to stick it on those as well. But, you know, like I said, I'm not sure what outfit exactly she is wearing. I think it may be this without the vest, and the vest on this figure is removable. So, you know, like like I said, if you want to put this new updated head sculpt on, on one of your previous Black Widow figures, you should be able to do that without any problems. Now here's a look at the female body with the Nebula head sculpt on it, and it does look pretty good. Also, you can see I have the Nebula blaster in her hand. Now this figure has two grip hands, but one thing I do want to note is the grips are kind of wider. They really made more for Black Widow's batons than this little tiny blaster. So the blaster is going to fit a little bit loose in the figure. If for some reason you wanted to use the older Nebula, head sculpt from the Guardians of the Galaxy figure. It does technically fit on this figure, but being that it's smaller, I don't think it looks as good. And then here are a few other head sculpts uh, for characters that we might possibly see don the quantum suit during Endgame. You know, I don't know for sure, but I, I figured I'd give you a look at some alternate heads. Here's a look at the Captain Marvel head sculpt on the quantum suit body. I don't know if Captain Marvel actually wears one of these quantum suits or if she just modifies her, her Kree suit, but but, you know, just in case, here's a look at that one. If you prefer your Black Widow with the short blonde hair, you can also use the Infinity War head sculpt with this body. Here's the Valkyrie head sculpt from the Thor Ragnarok figure, and Valkyrie is definitely a character I could see maybe wearing a quantum suit. And then finally, here's the Pepper Potts head sculpt from the MCU 3-pack. And Pepper Potts is definitely going to be in the movie, so, you know, who knows, maybe she'll end up donning one of these suits as well. Okay, now with articulation, starting with Hawkeye, it is exactly the same as Captain America, but we'll go over it real quick. You can turn the head to the left and the right. It's on a ball hinge joint, so it can look down pretty good and then can look up about that much. You don't really get any head pivot with these. Arms, you can get out good. You've got good rotation there at the shoulder. You get a bicep swivel. You get the double hinged elbow. You get rotation with the hands. You have hinges on the hands, so you've got the up and down movement. With the male figure, you get the ab crunch joint, so you can crunch forward pretty good, and you can look back pretty good as well. You get a waist swivel with the legs. You can do the splits that much. You can get the leg forward good and you can do the leg out and back. You've got a thigh swivel. You got a double jointed knee and then no boot cuff swivel. You get hinges on the feet. So up and down movement. And of course you do get ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay. Now for the female body with the head movement, you get the same kind of head movement as you do with the male counterpart. You've got the ball hinge joint can look down good. Now with the black widow head, because she does have the longer hair that limits some of that back movement. So she can only look back about that much. And like with Hawkeye, you don't get much in the way of head pivot. With the arms, you can get the arms out good. You've got good rotation there at the shoulder. You get the bicep swivel. As I mentioned before, with these, uh, with this female body, you do get the double hinged elbows, which is very rare. And then you've got the uh, rotation with the hands and the hinges on the hands, so up and down movement. At the midsection, you don't get an ab crunch like on the male body, but you do get rotation and you can pivot left and right. Doesn't have much in the way of a crunch forward movement and can look back about that much at the midsection. Does not have a waist swivel with the legs, can do the splits that much, can get the leg forward good, and can do the leg out and back. Has the thigh swivel, double uh, jointed knee, so good bending there at the knee, and then with the feet you've got uh, back and forth movement and you do have ankle pivot and two peg holes on the bottom of the feet. Okay, so that's my review. So overall, I think this is a pretty good set overall. You know, sculpting wise, the male body is the exact same one as the Quantum Suit Captain America figure. So if you have that one, you know what to expect. The female body, you know, sculpting wise is pretty much the same kind of detailing. And which isn't bad. It is not entirely movie accurate. However, it does use the metallic silver as opposed to the white. So I know that does bother some of you. But honestly, I would say the real star of this set are the head sculpts. I really like the, the head sculpt for 
for Hawkeye. I think it's the best unmasked Hawkeye head sculpt that we've gotten for the MCU line. And even the Black Widow one, I think looks pretty good. I do think they used a little bit too much blush on the cheeks, but I still think overall it's pretty good. And you know, it's just, this is what they look like now. So if you want the most accurate modern version of these characters, you know, you definitely probably are gonna wanna check this set out. You also get the Nebula head sculpt, which looks pretty good and has been updated from the Guardians of the Galaxy version. So that's an added bonus. I don't know if it's worth buying a two pack just for head sculpts. And you know, if you are trying to build out your quantum suit army of Avengers, then this is another reason to want to get this one. You will have to buy multiples of the sets though, if you want to get both Nebula and Black Widow. Now this is a Target store exclusive here in the United States and it has started to hit shelves. It's also available on the Target website, at least last time I checked it was. We'll have a full image gallery up at marvelousnews.com. There'll be a link in the video description below. As always, leave a comment and let me know what you think. If you're so inclined, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You should also hit the bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And of course, you can also follow me on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts or over on the Marvelous News and Toy News International message boards where we are running contests to give away $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. It's two different contests on both message boards and I will put links to those in the video description. So until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.